The Kuwait National Development Plan sets the nation's long-term development priorities. It's organized around seven pillars or areas of focus for investment and improvement. Healthcare. Improve service quality in the public healthcare system and develop national capabilities at a reasonable cost. Kuwait has a distinct position within the field of motorsport in the region. In addition to the love of the Kuwaiti people for motorsport and the high and rooted culture that it enjoys in this field. Kuwait is building a world-class motor town which will feature seven racing circuits that would enable the country to host Formula One and motor races in the future. The integrated city of motorsports consists of a complex with a racetrack capable of hosting all kinds of international races, cars, motorcycles and an academic centre. The project includes the construction of a pit building, a media centre, a hotel and the shopping mall in Arifjan, south of Kuwait City in Kuwait. Motor Town will position itself as a new destination with a unique FIA Grade 1 circuit as the nucleus of the state-of-the-art facility with a fully integrated portfolio of entertainment assets that will attract a wide spectrum of people. The integrated city of motorsports which carried out by the Amiri Diwan consists of a complex with a racetrack capable of hosting all types of world races with an area of 2.6 million square meters. The project is located south of the city in Arafjan, adjacent to the Wafra Road. The project of designing and building Motor Town in Kuwait is estimated at 49 million Kuwaiti dinars. Motor Town has been designed by Germany's Tilk, which hold credit for a number of popular F1 tracks, including Yas Marina in Abu Dhabi, UAE. The Kuwait Motor Town Racing Circuit has opened officially in the area of Arafjan on the 20th of March 2018 and the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, patronized the opening ceremony. Kuwait Motor Town will be a world-class race tracking that will feature seven racing circuits. The project is being handled by the Emiri Diwan who are behind projects like Shahib Park and the new Cultural Center. And here are some of the reviews. Talal said an excellent place to experience driving with races and perhaps with the cold weather. And Mubarak Dosari said good place and there is a restaurant that offers wonderful food and a lovely place for children to ride cars. And Badri Rumi said, wonderful and fun place for kids and adults, recommended to visit it to enjoy the driving experience. And from Ahmed Al Haddad account, after a long wait, the dream project Kuwait International Circuit. And from Rest account, the National Assembly recommends the establishment of a race car circuit for young people to practice their hobbies in accordance with the international rules and regulations. From New Kuwait account, Kuwait in 2035 among top 35 countries in the world. Future to be with you. Since the beginning of the second phase of returning to normal life during the COVID-19 pandemic, the municipality of Kuwait have spread teams in all shopping centers and common areas in Kuwait to overlook the stores on their application of the latest health guidelines. That includes that all staff have to wear protective clothing such as gloves, face masks and or face shields and customers alike. Any store that does not apply the guidelines for both their workers and the customers will be fined and possibly shut down. At the start of the second phase, we divided into several groups. Every group are responsible of a specific area. And our job in this, phase, in this phase is to overlook commercial activities in shops, malls, and restaurants. Um, 
this regulation that we are looking up, uh, that that we are looking over them are to be sure everyone is wearing masks, everyone is sanitizing their hands. And one of the problems, the main problems that we are facing is that customers sometimes they are not cooperating with the shopkeepers. So we advise the shopkeepers to stop or we enforce the shopkeepers to stop serving those customers and if they are very hardly to cooperate with the shop we ask the shopkeepers to send them out otherwise they have the right to call the police so the policemen uh, they have the right to deal with those people the municipal workers also recommend staff and shops to refuse service if the customer is not following the health guidelines by wearing masks and ask them to leave. If they wouldn't follow the safety instructions, then the staff should contact the police to assist them with that issue. All of these measures are put in place for everyone's safety and well-being. Minister of Awqaf and Islamic Affairs Headquarters is located in the Riga area. Awqaf and Islamic Affairs Headquarters project is considered a large Islamic structure that deals with the forms of the Islamic architectural designs that fits with the work of the Ministry of Awqaf and Islamic Affairs. The project is being developed by the Ministry of Public Works. The cost of the project is 39 million Kuwaiti dinar. Work began on the project since November 2013 and the project was completed by the end of year 2018. The Awqaf headquarters building is a unique office facility for the Ministry of Awqaf and the ancient occupancy of the building is around 1,500 people. The design scoop is accommodating of the additional 25% staff growth. The project consists of three basements, each basement with an approximate area of 25,700 square meters in addition to a central main building consisting of 16 floor and two suits, western and eastern. The building includes a theater with 400 chairs, cinema, montage and break places and cafeteria. The building includes a separate mosque that can accommodate 3,000 occupants. The Awqaf headquarter building will be a unique office facility for the Ministry of Awqaf. Now we will take you on a social media tour regarding the Ministry of Awqaf and Islamic Affairs new building. From Sana News account, the new building Islamic architectural style. And from Mashrua Kuwaiti account, the new Ministry of Awqaf and Islamic Affairs building project is a beautiful spirit of the Islamic heritage implemented by the Ministry of Works. And from New Kuwait government account, Ministry of Awqaf and Islamic Affairs building. The building is an Islamic architectural device divided into three buildings with the highest altitude of 16 floors and includes offices for the staff and ministry leaders. And the building has a separate mosque with the capacity of 3,000 prayer. For more information or details regarding Kuwait development projects, please visit the website on the screen.